Hey guys, it's Heather from Calva Plan, and today we're going to be chatting about how you can support your favorite content creators, whether it's a fellow planner babe, or a beauty blogger, or a fashion content creator, or a lifestyle content creator, whoever it is that you're following on social media that would be considered a content creator, I'm going to be sharing some ways that you can support them through their social media accounts. Last week I launched my Patreon page and I've gotten so many people to sign up as a patron, which I'm really excited about. But I've gotten a lot of people also comment and say that they couldn't afford to become a patron right now, which I totally understand. But being a patron is not the only way that you can support a content creator. It is probably the number one way that you can most support a content creator, but there are tons of other ways that you can support your favorite content creator. So today I wanna share some of those ways with you guys. I've made a list so you may see me like referring down to this list but I'm super excited to share these with you so the the key to all of your support is engagement you want to engage with your content creator a content creators ultimate goal is to make money creating the content so that they can then create more content for their audience and the way that you get paid is or one of the like ideal ways is when you start landing partnerships with companies and whether they're sending you free products so that you can share it with your audience or whether it's a paid partnership that is like the the most exciting thing for a content creator is to be chosen to work with a brand but when brands are looking for who they want to work with when it comes to a content creator their key like aspect that they're judging is engagement engagement is so important it doesn't really matter how many followers you have because let's say you have 50,000 followers but only a hundred of them engage with your content you don't really have 50,000 followers you only have however many are like engaging with you and so there's lots of different ways that brands can figure out your engagement rate and so you really want to have a good engagement rate and that can be like really hard to get as a content creator. So I'm gonna share some ways that you can help your favorite content creator up their engagement rate, which will hopefully help them to land more partnerships that will help them to bring you more and better content. So the first way that you can help your content creator is to follow them on Instagram or whatever other social media that they're using. So if they're using Twitter, follow them on Twitter. If they're on YouTube, hit that subscribe button and just connect with them officially. Be an official follower of your favorite content creator. Outside of that, you you want is when you step up your engagement. So you want to officially be following them or subscribe to them, and then you want to actually engage with them. And engagement looks different based on the platform that you're using. So if you're on Instagram and you're scrolling, how many times do you actually stop and hit the like button? You may not do it that often because you may not think about it, but it helps content creators so much if you just double tap and hit that like button. Hit the like button, it helps more than you know. Another way to really engage is to leave a comment on the Instagram photo or the YouTube video. It doesn't have to be some amazing comment where you're like going so in depth about how this photo or video affected your life. It could literally just be, hey, I like this photo or cute photo or like I like this spread or your makeup looks good or I like that outfit, whatever, just a short little comment engaging with the post. There's And that's kind of a benefit for you and for them. It's good for them because it, it raises their engagement level when more people are liking and commenting, but it's also good for you because Instagram and YouTube and things like that, when you're engaging with a content creator, they are more likely to show you that content creator's content. So if you never, let's say you follow me on Instagram, if you never like my post and you never comment on my post, my posts are probably never going to show up in your feed and then you will never see my post. So the more that you like and comment on somebody's post, the more likely you are to see their future posts. So that's kind of a win-win for both of you because you're getting to see the content that you want to see and they're getting the engagement that helps to boost them up. So follow them on Instagram or YouTube or Facebook or whatever platform they're using hit like on those videos, hit like on those photos, and leave a comment anytime you can. Doesn't have to be some crazy in-depth comment, but just leaving a comment helps more than you know, okay? Um, the next thing is if they're on YouTube, watch their videos watch them it helps that number in the corner is something that is so important how many people watch this video and even i'm going to tell you another trick even if it's a video that you may not be interested in but you want to support your content creator open it on another tab 
mute it, click play and let it play through because they're still getting that view and their that number and it's helping with their engagement. So watch the video. And if it's on YouTube and you really love that content creator, don't skip the ads. At least don't skip all the ads. If you need to skip some, you know, it is what it is. But whenever possible, don't skip the ads because that's how YouTubers get paid is through Google AdSense. Google AdSense puts the ad on the video and then when you watch the ad, they get paid for that. But if you skip the ad, they don't get paid for that. And so it's if you love that content creator and you really want to support them and thank them for making that content, let the ad play through. And if you really love the content creator, click on the ad. A content creator makes so much more money if you just click on the ad. Little tip, yeah, it's true. Cost you no money and it gets your content creator some money just by clicking on the ad. So don't skip the ads and when possible, actually click on the ad. Another way that you can help your con your favorite content creators is to share their content. That helps to grow their audience, which then just helps them get more deals and better their content. So if you see a video that you love, share it in a Facebook group, share it with your friends, share it on your personal feed, share it in your Instagram stories, share content that you love. Now, I do kind of want to put like a little asterisk on that. You don't want to go crazy sharing other people's content like all the time. So if there's like 10 content creators that you love, I wouldn't share each one video from each person every single day because then the people who follow you are going to be like, this person is just sharing other people's stuff all the time. <laughs> but when something really resonates with you and you really enjoyed something, take the time to share it to help grow their audience. That's another way to really help content creators. Okay. Another way to help a content creator is during this upcoming holiday season, shop their merchandise for gifts. Check out your favorite content creators. A lot of them have merchandise stores or Etsy stores that you can shop on. And then there's kind of like pros for both of you. It's a pro for them because they're making money and their merchandise is selling. It's a pro for you because you're choosing a unique gift that no one else is probably gonna buy for your friends and family and you're getting to shop small and support your favorite content creator. So this holiday season, be sure to check out your favorite content creators merch shops to see if there's anything that you can purchase to give as a gift. Another way that you could support your favorite content creators is to leave reviews. If you purchase merchandise from them, once you receive it, go and leave a review on that merchandise. Other people like to know the quality of the product. Go and leave a review. If your favorite content creator has a podcast, leave a review for the podcast. What did you think about it? Why do you like it? What's your favorite part? Let people know because then when people read the reviews, new people, they're more likely to actually purchase the item or listen to the podcast if they read a true lover of that content creator's review. So if you have time, take the time and leave a review. It means more than you would even know, okay? Um, a next tip, this is one that I feel like a lot of people may not know, is if you see them use a product, look for the affiliate link to that product or ask them if they have an affiliate link. Affiliate links are a really easy way for content creators to make a little bit of extra money. There's not a lot of money that comes from affiliate links, but sometimes they're, it's pretty good money. So if you're watching a video, let's say I do a video and you see some pins that I like. Usually in my description of my videos, I try to put affiliate links there. If there's not an affiliate link, leave a comment and say, hey Heather, where'd you get those pins? can I get the affiliate link? Because if you're going to purchase the item anyway, if you see your favorite content creator using something and you're gonna purchase it anyway, you might as well use their link so that they make a little bit of money off of that transaction. That's the same with Amazon. I have, I personally have my Amazon affiliate link in all of my videos and, and that even ties in to, if you use the link to purchase the item that I linked, then I get more money, but if you use the link and it takes you to Amazon and then you go through and you buy whatever you're, you're gonna buy from Amazon anyway, I get a little bit of that money too. Not a lot, it's like maybe a penny. <laughs> probably a little more than a penny, maybe like five cents, depending on the item. It's not a lot, but every little bit helps. Um, so just check out affiliate links. If you're gonna buy an item anyway, ask your favorite content creator if they have an affiliate link for that item because it helps more than you know. Um, and then the last tip I have is if 
you financially can become a patron of their Patreon page. A lot of people use Patreon. I know a lot of people in the planning community when I launched it last week had never heard of it, but it's actually a really common platform for content creators, um, especially like in the music world or in the beauty world or the lifestyle. Patreon is really common. So if you love a certain content creator, just check out and see if they have a Patreon page. Most people start their Patreon at like one to three dollars a month. So it's pretty affordable um for a lot of people not everybody but a lot of people so if possible check out their patreon page because content creators probably get the most money from patreon so those are all ways that you can support your favorite content creators a lot of those are free things that you can do that will help their brand and their business more than you could even imagine so next time you are watching or looking at something that a content creator made for you I hope that you keep this in mind and you remember to like the video or like the post and leave a comment and engage with them and use their links and all the different things because content creators spend a lot of time a lot of energy into creating content for their audience most of us do it because we have a passion for our audience and we want to help them. And so every little bit helps. I hope this video helped you know how you could support the people that you follow. Um, thanks for watching. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you want to see more of my videos, hit that subscribe button. If you want to become a patron of my channel, be sure to check out that link in the description and happy planning.